Okay, I need to take a break from some of the co-ops. Now, let's see as to what videos I can find. Uh, fine, Ryan. This video is bullshit and I'm doing a commentary on it. Gus, Ryan, you're such a spoiled sport. Actually, make that two videos. Hey there everyone, my name is A363MTR, here to kick some ass because I got you back. Before we start, I want to bring in the new segment that I would like to call, THINGS THAT YOU DIDN'T KNOW ABOUT ME! Number 1. Well, for this first entry, I might as well come out of the closet on YouTube and say that I am an open bisexual. I have interest in both men and women, though I would say that I'm a little bit more gay than straight. I might as well also notify everyone saying that I am a cisgendered male. And that was... THINGS THAT YOU DIDN'T KNOW ABOUT ME! Now, I've brought this up because I'll be doing a double feature when it comes towards the LGBT community. Now... Here's a very funny story with the first video. Lately, I've been revisiting some of the people that I've commentated on just to see as to what they're doing right now and maybe see as to whether or not if they actually have been improving. So far, the only person who actually took my advice was with MDXLR videos when I suggested her to have someone look over her script. I've technically said three people, but once a great start and her 20 second commentary have shown some improvement. But when I've looked over Hottest Content Online's channel, aka the person who I commentated on about Tidal versus Spotify slash other streaming services, I've noticed something about his channel, and that was with a video about Caitlyn Jenner. For those of you who don't know, Bruce Jenner came out as a transgender woman for quite some time now, and she's been trying to get some overall changes with her appearance. Hottest Content Online decided to make a rant on her and stated that transgendered people shouldn't make the change at all. At the same time when I was looking at his channel and seeing that video, however, Jay Joyner had made a reply video on Bob's commentary on his video on pedophiliac homosexuals are on the loose rant. In short, his reply video was shit, so I'm doing a double feature commentary on these two people. Also, I've gotten to an argument from a user online for my fourth commentary saying that I hated religious people, even though that the user strawmanned my argument. But just in case, I don't hate religious people. I just don't like the ones who think that just because it's in the Bible, it means that gay slash bi slash trans people are a sin and shouldn't be treated as equal. So with that being said, let's first take a look at Hottest Contents Online's video. Oh, and uh, I'm skipping the part where he gives out a shout out. Today what we're going to talk about is um, Bruce slash Caitlyn Jenner. You feel me? Okay, before I continue on, Eww. I mean, the big black bar lines is nasty. Can you at least hold your phone slash tablet sideways so that we can get a better view on your gorgeous face? Thank you. Now, honestly, man, I do not approve of this. You feel me? Because, you know, I just don't approve of this, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, anybody can do what they want to do. Everybody knows that Bruce Jenner has been talking about becoming a woman for some time now. But, you know, he's basically making the, ch the changes. He hasn't cut off his private parts yet or, you know, his dick and made his dick into a vagina or whatever. He hasn't done that yet, but he basically, um, you know, he's basically cross-dressing now. You know what I'm saying? But Caitlyn identifies as a female, which doesn't mean that she is a cross-dresser. You're basically bashing her because of her new gender, even if she doesn't have her parts cut off. Also, tell that to the people who are androgenerous, aka the people who wear partial male and partial female clothing slash accessories within their own everyday clothing style and are proud of it. And which, by the way, can range from gender identity and sexual orientation. Yes, even cisgendered straight males and females can be androgenerous too. Also, keep in mind that when I said about androgenerous people, it's just scratching up the surface as, according to Webster, is also having both male and female characteristics or qualities. Even then, there are metrosexuals who are straight, but they want to act feminine or masculine depending on what gender they are. So, let me ask you this. 
What's wrong with being a cross-dresser? How does content online? I mean, he got some things done, like, you know, lipos. Um, I think he got breasts done. You know what I'm saying? But, man, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. And this is just how you know that God is definitely coming soon. You feel me? Wait, 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 wait. Before you state my point, I might as well address something here. Things that you didn't know about me. Number two. I don't believe in the supernatural super being. I mean, I personally think that there's some sort of logical way on how we even came here or why we even showed up. Even if I were to be a religious person, though, I would still have this whole idea of how and why we even came here. But I personally don't since I also don't think that there is an afterlife. And some of you guys aren't going to take me seriously right now, so let me just state my point. Even if there was a god, I personally think that he would at least be alright with this. I mean, changing someone's sex is not really hurting anyone else now, is it? Also, even if god doesn't like this whole idea of transsexuals or gay slash bi people, then god doesn't really want to have you do his job. When we die, then he'll be the judge of it, not you. Also, this is something that Duke86 fan brought up to me, but the Old Testament was made only thousands of years ago, and which would be a long enough time for someone to change their minds over something like sexuality. And that's ignoring the fact that the book was made by humans with the Millennium's beliefs on homosexuality, and the world has changed throughout time. And that came from someone who is a Christian, and that was... THINGS THAT YOU DIDN'T KNOW ABOUT ME! I do believe in the higher power. I do believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn. This is crazy, yo. This is really crazy. I do not... I wouldn't encourage my children to do this. Yeah, but what would happen in the near future when you send your child to a gay conversion camp or some other camp for transsexuals and they feel uncomfortable? Not only at the camp, but within their own lives. Or maybe you don't want to send them to a straight camp. Maybe therapy in your eyes is good for them, when in actuality, doesn't really help them at all. In fact, it can possibly make them feel worse. You feel me? I really wouldn't encourage my children to do this. And, you know, this is the reason why parents have to be in their children's lives. But some parents are actually okay with their child being gay, even when their child came out to them. Hell, when I came out to my mom that I was by via a note, she called me while I was at school saying that she was supportive of me on the same day. Even if parents are not okay with it at first sight, it will take them time throughout their lives. However, if a parent doesn't like the child's decision to come out and tries everything to say no, then not only will that cause distress for the child, but the parent too. And keep in mind that this can lead to a burnout, which includes feeling tired and drained most of the time, detachment, aka feeling alone in the world, isolating yourself from others, and lower immunity, aka feeling sick a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say that this is a free world and you can do whatever you want to do and that's definitely true. Well, that is unless if you break the law, but do go on. But, you know, this is a free world but at this, and, and the fact that it's a free world, I do feel like, you know, you know, um, certain people do deserve the proper guidance. You know what I'm saying? If God made you a man, you know, then that's what you are. You can't change that. Even if you if you if you undergo, you know, laser surgery and liposuction and whatever the fuck, you know, you do to try to change your sex. You know what I'm saying? That's almost like that's disrespecting yourself. How is that disrespecting themselves in any way? If anything, it would disrespect the transgendered people if they still feel like as if they have their own body parts with or without them, depending on which gender that they wish to be. You feel me? Bruce Jenner is disrespecting himself. He don't even really know it. He's disrespecting himself. Why would you change your sex from, you know, being a man? You know what I'm saying? You was born a man and now you want to be a woman? It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, let me try to do the best I can by asking you a question. And to the other people that are watching this, then you can play along. If there were a huge sum of money, would you go and physically transition to the opposite gender? No. Let me guess, is it because that you'd rather continue presenting yourself as the gender that you're born and I identify with? Yes? Well then, congratulations! You are a cisgendered person. However, transgendered people would want to present themselves from the opposite sex of the gender that they were born and identify with, and that actually makes it comfortable for them. Also, transsexuality is caused by the brain, specifically the brain structure, 
and function. As one person who can describe it, the critical problem for transgender people is that the brain and the genitals undergo their development at different times. For most people, the brain and genitals are wired underneath the same general condition and ended up matching. Transgender people, however, end up with the opposite wiring. The result is transgendered people who literally have, for example, a male brain and female genitals, or the other way around. Finally, yes, the male and female brains do have differences. Like, that's just foolishness, that's blasphemy, that's just dumb, it's just pathetic, you feel me? Like, just doesn't make any sense. God made you a man, you feel me? That's what he made you. I don't think that what you've been taught in school about the reproductive system has stayed within your own head. You know, your DNA, that's, your, that's what your sex is. You're a man. Even if you try to cut off your dick and change, there's no way that you can rep reproduce like how a woman reproduces. Within time, though. Although there's not a way today to have transgender women to get pregnant, it could be possible for transgender women to receive uterus within the near future. Though it requires hormone replacement therapy to induce female puberty and maintain female secondary sex characters. And there's my point, actually. Hormones. Hormones, according to Webster, is a product of living cells that circulates in the body fluids as blood, or sap, and produces a specific, often stimularity, effects on the activity of cells usually remote from its point of origin, also a synthetic substance that acts like a hormone. For anyone who basically doesn't even know as to what's going on, what he basically said that it's encoded within our DNA, when in actuality it's basically driven by the hormones that we have. Despite on what the DNA dictates, you can change the body's functions with introduction of new hormones. If we were to use hormone replacement therapy, then this could make the body of the man to function like a woman and vice versa. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. All right. A lot of people feel like, you know, some men, when they, when they, you know, they, they get, have sex with a woman and they have children, you know, for some men, it's almost like bragging rights for some men. You know what I'm saying? Some men, you know, um, they kind of see that as, as, you know, having children as like a bragging right. They use that as a right to brag, like, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but some people will have other types of philosophy of what it means to be a man instead of bragging rights for having sex with a woman or raising kids of their own. True, you said some men, but that's basically poor wording. Doesn't mean that you should, you're supposed to drag them by the air and try to direct them, you know, into a specific space. Just whenever you see errors, correct it. You feel me? If you see an error, correct it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody wants to be gay and somebody wants to be a tranny and somebody wants to be, you know, change their sex, even though you really can't do that, you know, you could shave off your dick, you could, you know, get breasts, you could get, you know, ass shots and all that shit to make yourself look like a woman. But at the end of the day, you're a man. Yeah, uh, can I rewind that part about gay people? I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody wants to be gay and somebody wants to be a tranny and somebody wants to be, you know, change their sex. How does being gay have to deal with being in different gender? They know for the fact that they're in their own sex, even if some of the gay guys can act feminine while some of the gay girls can act masculine. If this is an error, then look at my fifth commentary on you about how you need to script. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. All right. You know, honestly, I really do think that this is just all for popularity, you know? And that's what I'm telling you. People never really mature. People never really grow up. Like, you got a 65-year-old man that wants to be a woman. How stupid is that? That's the most dumbest shit ever. No. Why on earth would she want to change her appearance to make herself more like a female just for popularity? In fact, do you have any proof that she's doing this at all? If anything, I can show you some proof that this is 100% false. Do you see all the failed marriages? Okay, explain time. Although there can be other reasons as to why her marriage has failed, I can guarantee you that her main reason is because she feels unhappy being a male. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash over this video, but I really don't care, man. Y'all niggas could suck my dick. Well, since I am a bisexual, and since you've asked, no. People don't mature. People, I say that all the time. People never really mature. Like, that's some childish, kitty, you know, spoiled, foolish, pathetic type of behavior for a 65 year old man 65 
not 50, not 40, 65. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's stupid. Like, why would you live? I mean, you basically have 10 more. They say that a man, you know, a, 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 you know, a human being's lifespan is, is about 75 years. Well, I might as well give credit to where credit is due. If you were a male living in the U.S. I mean, the longest that we can really live is going to be about 120 years, as Janine Coleman have lived through 122 years old. Yeah, you did say 75, but the thing is, you said the human life expectancy, which, again, is rather poor wording. Not to mention that the female average is at least two years more. You know what I'm saying? So you basically lived your whole life as a man, you know, and now you want to be a woman? For the next 10 plus years that you have left, it's foolishness, it's dumb, it's blasphemy, it's fucking stupid. It's dumb, it makes no motherfucking sense. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Now, honestly, son, I do not condone that in any type of way. You feel me? And Bruce Jenner is just a tranny. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You ain't no fucking woman, nigga. You ain't no woman. You know what I'm saying? It's just a popularity contest. And that's the reason why a lot of people are gay and that's the reason why a lot of people you know do that tranny shit okay so now you think that people are becoming more gay i'm just gonna play this clip for my fourth commentary to sum it up no nobody is turning gay it is just that more gay and bi people are coming out of the closet more often because of how people are lightening up on the whole concept of being gay the same rule can be applied with transgendered people held recently even though that many people can call this show tv trash Recently in Big Brother, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a guilty pleasure show. Big Brother USA has its first ever transgendered person named Audrey Middleton, which proves for the fact that if Big Brother can show a transgendered contestant on TV, then that means that society can become more and more accepting with transgendered people. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's just it's just a nasty, messy culture, man. That LBGT culture, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, blame the entire LGBT culture based on celebrities. That totally helps your argument in any way, shape, or form. Sarcasm. Yo, man, if you that's what you want to do with your life, go right ahead, man. Knock yourself out. You know what I'm saying? But I don't condone that. You know what I'm saying? And I would definitely encourage my children, you know, to be um to be who they are, you know, to become successful. You know, a man to be with a woman and a woman to be with a man. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, live that 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 type of lifestyle. The lifestyle that was meant for us to live. You feel me? It sounds like right now that you only want to have your kids to go in one direction towards their lives, not the other direction. The direction that your kids may or may not want to have. With that being said, please don't have your kids be all bigoted and shit when it comes towards having this ideology of the LGBT community. Anyways, I'm stopping this video here because he's basically tried to end the video by saying like, comment, and share this video and tell me on how you feel about it. I'm saving my final thoughts with this video at the end and just gonna head straight towards the Jay Joyner's response towards Bob. As a disclaimer, if you haven't watched your commentary on his original video, then I advise you guys to watch it. It's pretty long, but you'll understand the context of this video and what Bob says in their commentary on him. I'll link that commentary down in the description box below. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a look at the second video on Jay Joyner. Hello, and welcome to another round of awesomeness dealing with me doing a video um to a bunch of pseudo intellectuals who decided to run commentary on my video pedophilic homosexuals are on the loose um i was thinking of using my minecraft character to relay all this information to you but why would i want to do that when i want you looking me in the eye when i'm bashing you hang on let me grab something Hey there everyone, 8363MTR here in the flesh this time, but for this point and this point only. Um, not every commentator in Bob or really anyone within the commentary community are really afraid of showing their faces as there are some people like the Nation of Johnny K who actually have done a few commentaries via his face. Now, I can see you saying, but why didn't they do that uh, for that video? Or why didn't you do this uh, for the whole video? 
uh, doing the camera instead of the mic. Well, not all commentators have a camera or webcam in the first place, so that's why we have this whole thing of doing videos via microphone. Also, I personally think that it's way more easier to actually have a microphone and edit uh, that way instead of using the camera, as there are things such as uh, distractions in the background or anything else, like uh, not, uh, not reading your script at all. Finally, there's some people who actually doesn't necessarily would want to see the video, but instead have the video as a background noise uh, while they do something else. So, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna head back towards Mordecai. Okay? Okay. Hello. In the description, if any of you at all decide to look at it. Um, a bunch of pseudo-intellectuals, 35 minutes of uninterrupted wall. This is the video. The link to the video will be down there. Um, the video that they did, uh, running commentary on my pedophilic homosexuals are on the loose. Um, you bunch of kids. Okay, you make me laugh. So hard. Just so hard. What do you mean by kids? Like their age? Well, I'm pretty sure that most of the commentators in Bob, if not then guaranteeing you that some of them, are 18 plus, like the nation of Johnny K or Hubs. If you're implying for the fact that they aren't acting their age, then in all honesty, they're acting way more mature than you are when you're making this video. I can't take anything you people say seriously, especially when you use other people's artwork as avatars to make your arguments. Very original. Well, I can't say that it may or may not fall under fair use. Using someone's art doesn't mean that it's illegal. I mean, am I gaining profit from using their art? No, therefore the commentators technically have the right to use the picture. Even if the artist complained, the worst case scenario would be to not use the pictures anymore. Also, you've complained about how original using an avatar slash a bunch of pictures of a certain character is, and yet you're doing this video via webcam slash camera. In which case, the majority of YouTubers also do this. I'm sorry, but who are you complaining about originality again? Must be why you have such a high fan base, because kids these days don't know what originality is. Um, yeah, question. Why the hell do you even care about fan bases anyways? I mean, this really doesn't add any substance within your argument whatsoever. And using Wade from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World was funny, though. I will have to give you that. That was hilarious. Especially since it was commentary on a video that you kids think is against homosexuals. Um, it was actually against pedophiles and what they do, and no matter how you really slice it, it all stems from homosexuality and wanting to be daddy's special boy. One, you've said within your own video that homosexuality was an abomination. Secondly, you're comparing pedophiles with homosexuality. That's like comparing apples to oranges. Actually, wait, I can give off a better example than that. It's like you're comparing... Dogs to cats. Even if they are both mammals, they're two completely different animals with different behaviors. Even then, you're comparing pedophilia and child molestation as the same thing when they're actually not. According to psychology.ucdavis.edu, pedophiles are a group of people who think that children are sexy but would never do it within the first place. Child molesters, on the other hand, are a group of people who do rape slash have sex with a kid. Keep in mind that there's a difference of things thinking, and doing. Also throughout the article, even if there are a few homosexual and bisexual men who are child molesters, there is no scientific basis of asserting that they are more likely than heterosexual men to do so. Also, and I quote, Child molesters are not characterized as having an adult sexual orientation at all. They are fixated on children. So basically, no. You were attacking on homosexuals because you made the claim that the majority of pedophiles slash child molesters are homosexual slash bisexual. Now, to the commentators on my homo pedo rant, Mitchell Long, man, you don't even exist on the comment thread anymore, so I don't even know why I'm doing this, but hey. You're just, your comments just suddenly disappeared, and I had, of course, nothing to do with that, because I believe in having every comment in all its hate-filled glory visible. So you must have either been banned from YouTube, or knew your comments didn't really phase me in the least bit, and just decided to hiddle it like the kiddly-diddling bastard you presented yourself to be. 
because only a pedal bear freak would fight that hard to change a man's opinion on the subject. Well, can we see any proof of the fact that those comments were even in the video in the first place? Because it feels like as if you're pulling something right out of your ass. Oh, and uh, no, they aren't banned from YouTube at all, so I'm calling you bluff. Also, this is something I want to bring up in the comment section from a comment made by Ponder Spocket, so 100% of the credit will go to her. In fact, I'll link her channel in the description box below. I'm quoting this point because this person did indeed make a good point about the video. <clears throat> Oh, you disagree with me? Well, only pedophiles wouldn't agree with my opinion. Thus, you're all pedophiles! They're not the only ones in the world who disagree with your point of view, dipstick. I doubt that there are quite that many pedophiles in the world. Oh, and great, because you don't agree with me, you're this horrible state I'm talking about argument as a means of shutting up your detractors rather than debating you got there. I'm sure that sort of lack of argumentative behavior would get you far when it comes towards trying to convince others that your point of view is the right one. I swear to God, this is the only thing that I'll bring up on what she said. Or at least quote on what she said. Either that or you're a real dog. And if that's the case, <laughs> I've got nothing more to say to you. Frank and Tuz. I don't like anything. Homosexuals, pedophiles, furries, pig porkers, sheep shuckers, cow cuddlers, dog diddlers do. I am, however, not afraid of them. So, no, to answer your question, I'm not a homophobe. Just because of the fact that you're not afraid of them doesn't mean that you're still a homophobe, as you can also hate them, too, and can treat them badly. Come on, look it up, it's in the fucking dictionary for crying out loud. To Cody the Fox. Get a job, you bum. I'm gonna take that as an insult for one way or another, as you're saying that this person does nothing within their own lives. Any proof of that, too? People really need to learn how to read and take a joke. Pedo, phallic, homosexuals are on the loose. When I came up with that title, I imagined a bunch of gay pedo bears running around dressed up as penises, or at least having a penis on their forehead. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it can be offensive too. I mean, I'm bi and I usually don't think that what you said here was nice at all. I mean, yeah, sometimes in comedy there would be a few jokes that not a lot of people would like, but with this joke, most of the people would either not get the joke or think that it's offensive. Well, that guy sure has a twisted imagination. Oh, bullshit! You complain about how someone is still in someone else's art when you do the same thing, and I do not think that you actually have drawn that. Boy, have you contradicted yourself within this video. I believe they call it a play on words. And I think I know why everyone has such an issue with that video. They read the title, automatically had a bad opinion on, of its content based on title alone. No, even if you were to change the title to, I don't know, Giant Robotic Kitty at Texas City, people will still watch the video and think that the points that you brought were crap. Don't just think that the title alone will get you backlash from the YouTube community, especially within the commentary community. Which, of course, you know, was an opinion piece to begin with, hence the bracket rant bracket um, sir, just because of the fact that it's an opinion piece, that doesn't mean that other people can't have different opinions than yours. Of course people would disagree with what you say. Don't you even know what the concept of an opinion is? But hey, we're all allowed to have our opinions. It's our American right. God bless America! Oh, hmm. Okay then. Never mind then, uh, looks like you do know what opinion- WAIT A MINUTE! Did you have that mentality within the original video? Well, isn't it precious when someone thinks that their opinions are facts? Now, speaking of people having problems with the titles of my videos, here's another video, and another group of people, who really need to grow a sense of humor and understanding of a man's opinion. This video was done a year ago, okay? The name of the video, and I will have it linked down below along with the other video, she committed suicide by sodomizing herself with a loaded shotgun because she was high on bedbugs. Take a minute to let that title sink in. 
Okay, I actually had to watch that video in question, and even if it is around a year old, that doesn't mean that I can critique about it since you did mention it. One, you said that she, Maddie Yates, wanted attention when she posted a video about trying to commit suicide. Even if it was supposed to be a three minute video, she was trying to not commit suicide and try to possibly seek help, like what you just said, within the video. Two, you said that the parents, any kind of parents, mind you, spoiled your child, then they had no idea as to what the hell happened. Do you have no fucking clue as to why some people are trying to commit suicide, like how they get bullied every day, either from online or in real life? In fact, since this video's topic is about LGBT, can you explain to me that LGBT youth are four times more likely to attempt suicide and that questioning youth are three times more likely? Or how about when the LGBT who came from highly rejecting families are 8.4 times are likely to have attempted suicide as LGBT peers who reported no to low levels of family rejection and three you said that they need to get over it how they can't just get over it within the next few days they need emotional support from their parents and from other peers and even then what if they had depression as this is somewhat more of a permanent thing and yes i do realize for the fact that you do have depression in the comment section but this is something in which case that you can relate to do you see as to what I'm saying that your title doesn't mean shit and it's the actual video that we're talking about here? Do any of you people know what satire is? Did any of you even watch the video after you read the title? I sure did, so you can't grab that argument out of your ass. And I bet maybe only a hundred of them actually watched the video in its entirety. But my opinion still stands on this topic, both my opinions. Number one, opinion. People are gullible and will believe anything that they read, see, hear. Well, I sure wasn't gullible when I watched that other video too, and I'm sure that other people, like the ones in Bop, aren't gullible either. And opinion number two, suicide. is the stupidest choice you can make in your entire life and should not be mourned. Holy shit, you were doing so fine with that statement until you said that they shouldn't be mourned. Why the Fuck would you even say that in the first place? There is a reason that some of the kids are committing suicide in the first place. And no, more than likely, it's not from wanting attention. Even then, there's another topic at hand about assisted suicide where people that do want help to commit suicide due to medical reasons or how they only want to die in peace. And no, this is way different than premeditated suicide. I don't care who the person was or what they think. The reason was to kill themselves. My opinion still stands. Call me whatever you want. Think of me what you will. But suicide is simply a permanent solution to a temporary problem that leads to freaking nowhere. While I agree with the whole notion of suicide being a permanent solution to a temporary problem, in most cases that is, I've read in the comment section of that video saying that you had a child, more than likely around 5 years right now. Well, what would happen if that child of yours was bullied because they were gay or that they were transgendered or how they were just bullied overall and got to the point where they committed suicide? Would you mourn their death or no? We know your home skips. Pick up the phone skips. We know your home skips. Pick up the phone skips. All right. Because this attention grabbing, going out and cutting yourself because you're 14 years old and you think you might be gay and some kid finds out about it and he starts picking on you. If you want to be gay, expect that. Ugh, fuck it. Let me play another clip for my fourth commentary again. Okay, so now you're saying that being gay is a choice? Do you have any actual evidence to back this up? Because if you don't, then I have evidence to prove that being gay is not a choice. There are at least three known factors about how someone can become gay. Genes, having multiple older biological brothers, which does increase them to become more gay by 1%. Note that this point only applies towards men. And exposing the baby with antibodies during pregnancy are all reasons as to why someone can become gay. Now, are we saying that someone can choose to become gay? It can happen, but we don't necessarily think that there are a lot of those people out there. Besides, if someone were to choose to become gay, why on earth would they do so knowing that they would choose to subject themselves to the social injustice that gay people often face regularly? Oh, and uh, it's a common practice within the animal kingdom too, so uh, there's that. Finally, in my personal opinion, this is the worst point that you've made throughout the video. 
Main reason why? Well, let me just say, good job in promoting bullying when it comes towards a group of people who are born with being gay. They can't help for the fact that they were born gay, and here you are saying that the majority of the LGBT youth chooses to subject themselves to get bullied within their lives. Do I have to show you the facts again? Okay, expect to be picked on, expect to be ridiculed. You know, this is like if you, if you choose to be a Christian, people are going to pick on you, people are going to ridicule you. But unlike being gay, it is a choice to be a Christian where... Wait, weren't you implying for the fact that within the video that Bob commentated on saying that Christians were born this way? Well, boy oh boy, someone needs to learn a thing or two on what a religion is. We know your home skips, pick up the phone skips, we know your home skips, pick up the phone skips. Alright! Anyhow, I've said my piece in both videos, no need to regurgitate what I said. If people really care... Just watch the other videos. Like I said, links will be provided below. In closing, I'm going to take a page from Ronnie Radke and Ronnie Radke and just simply say this. I'm well aware that I am an asshole, but who the hell cares about all that now? I've nothing to prove because honestly, I'm just like you. But you made a reply video trying to prove someone wrong. Unless if I'm missing something from that quote, then I have no idea on what you're trying to imply when you keep contradicting yourself. Peace. Love. God bless. And I'm also gonna end this video here since it's just an outro joke and how he made some credits or whatnot, so I'm just gonna give out my final thoughts. To hottest content online, you need to understand that celebrities aren't doing this for attention and that they are actually gay, lesbian, bi, or even transgendered. You also need to talk to a few other transgendered people in order to know as to why they wanted to change their sex in the first place. I also don't think that God is going to be angry about the practice of switching genders too, as well as people of the same sex sleeping together, so line up a bit. Also, this is my second time doing a commentary on you, so please, step up your game and use a script next time. As for Jay Joyner, not only do you still have this ideology saying that gay people are pedophiles slash child molesters, but now you're coming off for the fact that the person who committed suicide shouldn't be remembered at all. You need to change your ideology of these two things that I've explained within the video that I've done, because otherwise, it seems like as if you're never going to change at all. To not only the both of you, but to anyone else who is watching this, this is supposed to be 2015. We should know now that being gay slash bi means that you were born that way. We should know now that transgendered people aren't harming anyone when they transition themselves from a man to a woman or vice versa. Gay slash bi people aren't child molesters. Transgender people aren't cross-dressers. We need to ditch these kinds of stereotypes because they actually do more harm to the LGBT community than to help them. And in all honesty, I really hope for the fact that I don't have to do another video like this again. Because videos like these really pisses me off to the umpteenth degree. Now I'm going to end this video on a high note and say that recently the US Supreme Court made a decision in a 5-4 to four vote to allow same-sex marriage across the country. I'm happy for the fact that gay couples everywhere can now have the legal right to marry and this thus brings us one step closer towards equality. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'll see you all on that co-op that I did with Mike Johnson. For now, my name is A363MTR saying have a wonderful journey through the depths of space and time, but until then, I'm signing out. <laughs>